It was as sudden as it was brutal and relentless. Ukrainians woke up to find themselves plunged into the midst of war. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin followed through with. The war has already begun. Russia has attacked Ukraine. Russian army has entered Ukrainian territory with an attack going on in all fronts, land, air and sea. US, UK and other countries have imposed new sanctions on Russia. Our Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in talks with both countries. Indians living in Ukraine are stuck in this scary situation. So the war, which was brewing from the past three to four months, has finally begun. But is it the war that was limited to last three to four months? or it has a deeper history. Let's dive deep and analyze the situation in detail. It all boils down to history. The conflict dates back to the 9th century. There was a state called Kievian Rus, where the Slavic people lived with the Kyiv as its capital. Present-day Russians draw their lineage from this Slavic state and for centuries they have been sharing cultural, linguistic and familial links. In the 1900s, Russia and Ukraine were the part of Soviet Republic. Russia was the most powerful among the 15 republics and Ukraine was the second most powerful among them. It had defense industries, large agricultural lands and housed much of the Soviet's nuclear arsenal. In 1991, when USSR collapsed, Ukraine became independent, as did Russia. As we have discussed earlier, Ukraine inherited much of the Soviet's nuclear arsenal. In 1994, there was an exchange agreement between Russia and Ukraine, where Ukraine gave its nuclear arsenal to Russia. And in return, Russia guaranteed security for Ukraine and promised to respect its sovereignty. Parallelly, at the same time, many other things were happening in the world politics. When the World War II ended, Soviet's domination started and there began the Cold War. To stop the USSR's expansion and socialist ideology, US has partnered with few countries and started NATO. So what is this NATO? NATO means North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It is headed by US. It is a military alliance where the members agree to help each other in the event of an attack. That means if a NATO country is attacked, it is an attack on all NATO countries and they are all bound to help. So now let's come back to Ukraine. To clearly understand the issue, we should know the geography involved. This is Ukraine below Russia. The west side of the Ukraine is pro-European Union. Majority of the people wants Ukraine to join European Union or NATO. Earlier the NATO countries were only 12, but now it has increased to more than 30 countries, with Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia joining the NATO, which are the border nations of Russia, thereby hampering its strategic interests. And the eastern side of the Ukraine, which is popularly known as Donbas region, consists of Donetsk and Luhansk region which are pro-Russian and the people in this region wants to join Russia and there is Crimea which is located in the southern part of the Ukraine. It links Russia to Black Sea which is a prime trade location for Russia as it leads to Mediterranean Sea. If you remember in 2014, Russia annexed Crimea. So the backstory of this Crimean annexation goes like this. In 2014, Ukrainians wanted to join European Union, but the then Ukraine's president, who was pro-Russia, signed a $15 billion bailout deal with Russia. It felt like Ukraine has been sold out to Russia, and soon the protests began all over the country, which is popularly known as Euromaidan protests. This toppled the government and led to establishment of a new government, which is pro-European Union or NATO centered. Russia was angry with the above events and it invaded Crimea. Now it declared a war on Ukraine itself. What does Russia or Putin really wants? 1. Russia wants NATO to move out of its earlier Soviet Union states. 
as it technically means that US can be at Russia's border any moment. 2. It also wants a guaranteed commitment that Ukraine should not be a member of NATO because Putin thinks that Ukraine and Russia are one and share a common cultural ties. 3. Putin wants the glory of USSR back and leave a legacy behind and also regain Russia's supremacy. Fourth, Ukraine has a lot of fertile land and is mineral rich and also provides a gateway to Black Sea which is really necessary for Russia's trade and security. So the information till now is Russia already invaded the parts of Ukraine by land, air and sea. It's the first instance since World War II a European country attacking another. As we can see the similar things with India's context. Present day India, Pakistan and Bangladesh all were a part of a single country and shared common cultural ties but now are arch rivals. Let's understand how this whole issue is relevant to UPSC. From the prelims point of view you may get a question on these lines. Luhansk region recently seen in news belongs to which country or a match the following question on the locations in news can also be asked or a map based question on the countries surrounding the Black Sea is also a probable question. From the mains perspective we should know the impact of this issue on India. 1. India cannot play its old game of non-alignment at this point of time as it has to take a stand for its future benefits. Russia is our all weather friend and US is our new priority. Taking a stand might hamper the relation either with US or with Russia and India doesn't want it. There is also a chance that Russia might get closer to China which doesn't go well with India. Second, India should consider the safety of Indians living in Ukraine from the warlike situation and bring them back. Russia is the second largest producer of oil in the world. With the imposed sanctions it might lead to increase in the oil prices in the coming future. It can cause energy crisis and even inflation in India. Fourth, global and Indian stock markets are being adversely impacted by this war speculations going on from the last three to four months. So along with India, the world should also take a stand against this war and make sure that the peace prevails. As most of the European countries along with US, Japan and Australia have imposed sanctions on Russia. So what do you think is going to happen? Will Russia annex Ukraine? Or the world comes in rescue of Ukraine? Or will it escalate into a third world war? We never know. Only time will answer it. So what do you think about it? Please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.